warm welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today we taste the, or I'm tasting, the Porter's Cake 17 years of age, vintage 2023. It has an ABV of 50 and a half and it's unchill filtered, uncolored and here at whiskey.com we sell it for roughly 130 euros. The Porter's Cake single malt whiskey is from the Isle of Isla. It's called an Isla single malt whiskey, but the proprietor of the brand Porter's Cake does not tell us which distillery it is. And Porter's Cake is a small town on the northeast coast of the Isle of Isla, where the ferries arrive. And since hundreds of years, it's the port to Scotland from the islands. And uh, yeah, on the back of this card box, they tell that they have 29, a set of 29 casks from a distillery on the north co coast of Isla, uh, which are combined here into this Porter's Cake. And in the past, in this beginning of this brand, I had the feeling that they typically use uh, whiskies from Kalila, but here on this, with this whiskey, I don't think so. It's pretty much sure that it's a Buna Haven. Why? Well, uh, in the year 2006, if you subtract 17 years from 2023, uh, you reach 2006. And at that time, Kalila did not sell any cask to independent bottlers or blenders. Uh, they started again at 2007 or 8 when uh, the business went down uh, due to the financial crisis, the global financial crisis. So can't be from Kalila and if they say <laughs> that is from the north coast of Isla, well then it must be Buna Haven. There's another third distillery on the north east coast of Isla, but it wasn't ready in that time. So this should be Buna Heaven. Yeah. The bottle is very typical dark green, as it's always been. And here they write on the back, our first release brings together just 29 cars from a distillery on Isla's north coast. Aged in traditional American oak hogsheads, hogsheads, the spirit has been allowed to slowly develop, changing from its fierce youthfulness to an elegant and chatterful whiskey. Now, <laughs> characterful whiskey. The Buna Haven distillery uh, produces most of the year an unpeated whiskey for their own brands, but, uh, well, one, two, three months a year, they produce peated whiskey. So they use uh, smoked malt for the production and they are typically very strong in peatiness. This isn't very peaty on the nose. Well, if a whiskey grows in age or matures with age, then the smokiness reduces and more and more complexity arises from those compounds which are oxidized more and more over the years due to oxygen which moves with the air into the cask in winter when the whiskey contracts and sucks in the air from the surrounding into the cask through the porous walls of the cask and in summer whiskey expands with the heat and drives the air out of the cask so that there's a constant uh, move of fresh oxygen, oxygen into the cask so that there is oxidization going on in the cask over the years. This is very light for 17 years. Uh, this is refill hogsheads, definitely. And hogsheads are from the size uh, around 250 liters and they are produced from American standard barrels, which are well dismantled all the staves of the cask and then refabricated into slightly bigger casks, not only those 208 liters they have in the American standard barrel, uh, but they go up to a 240, 250 uh, simply by using more staves and adding fresh ends to the casks. Yeah, 
So it's 50.5. I'm able to sip that neat. And floral, fruity, with a distinct smokiness, but not overwhelming. So the smokiness has reduced a lot by the aging. And there's still a distillery character with a light citrus note behind. Yeah. Cheers. Very strong on the tongue. So this needs water. 50.5 in this whiskey is a lot mouth watering like hell. And this citrus note develops into a little zest, and the mouth watering well reduces the zest and moves over to a little sweetness and very intense mouth filling, very characterful, mature, old. So the second sip, not without a little, uh, uh, just a drop of water, just to bring it a little bit down. Oh, this is 45 now. Definite marks in the liquid due to the, well, the difficult mixture between water and alcohol, which takes quite a time to mixture fully. Fresher notes, more smokiness now coming out of the whiskey. Because if you reduce the strength of the alcohol, this solution or the solubility, mm, the ability to salute uh, aromas uh, reduces by reducing the ABV and those aromas have to rise. And if you have a glass with a, a, a cooper, then you can, uh, well, concentrate the aroma for your nose. Below 50, around 45 something. This is definitely better. This light citrus accent is still there. Mm -hmm. Now it's more friendly on your tongue. A light aftertaste, like yeah, an oaky aftertaste. No bitterness, no. But the light oaky aftertaste is 17 years. It's quite a lot. And the casks are not that. They are refill casks. So uh, the whiskey, the raw whiskey, sucks out more of the, uh, the tannins and the oak aromas from the cask than the vanilla or from sherry casks, which there are any in it, uh, the fruitiness. Yeah, very well done. Not that cheap, 130, but for a 17 year old cast strength whiskey from Isla, this is a bargain. <laughs> Where are you able to find a whiskey at that price of roughly 130, uh, 17 years? Yeah, close to nowhere. That's today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come.